Okay, this is page 22. We're looking at number 74, warm-up, Verde Munter. Uh, we're going to start with part A. Look at your key signature first. We have one flat on the B line, which tells us that every B is flat all the way through the exercise. Notice there's crescendos and decrescendos taking, making it get louder and softer as, as we go through this. You probably won't be able to tell much difference in the recording because the computer tends to level the volume, but try to make it get louder and softer as you go through. So we're going to play straight through 74A, say in finger one time, back up the video and play along. Here we go. One, ready, now. <laughs> Okay, keep backing that up and going over it. Now let's look at part B. We're going to do that the same way. Look at the key signature. Flat on the third line tells us every B is flat, nothing else. It means all these E's are natural. Try to get a little bit louder on the crescendos and a little bit softer on the decrescendos. I'll give you three. Ready? One, ready, now. <laughs> Okay, keep backing those up and going over them until you've got them smooth and you, that you're making a difference with your crescendos and decrescendos. And with all these duets, you can play part A with part B or part B with part A and actually hear the harmony. Okay, this is number 75, Fe Dodo. It's a French folk song. Uh, notice there is no key signature in, in this, so everything is marked using accidentals as we go through. Look at the second measure. That first E flat is marked, but the second one is not. It's still E flat because that flat lasts from where it's marked all the way to the end of the measure. And that happens again over by the first ending. So let's make sure that we carry that flat throughout the measure. We're going to play now from the beginning to the end of the first ending. I want you to say the note names in finger. One, ready, now. <laughs> Okay, now back that up and go over it a few times playing along with the recording until you have it worked out. Now we're going to go all the way through, taking the first ending, going back to the beginning. The second time we skip the first ending and take the second one. Here we go. I'll give you three. One, ready, now. <laughs> Okay, keep going over that until you have it worked out and that you, you can you, that you remember that that flat sign next to the E carries for the whole measure. Okay, this is number 76, Baroque March. Notice at the beginning, we do not have a key signature, so everything is done with accidentals. Look at the fourth measure. In the fourth measure, we have a B flat for our second note, then we have a C, then we have another B. That flat carries through and makes that B flat as well. So we're going to say the note names and finger from the beginning to that first breath mark and stop. Here we go. I'll give you through three. Say the note names and finger. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Keep backing that up and going over it. Say the note names. 
and then play along with the recording until you have those four measures worked out. And then let's go on to the second four. Let's say the note names in finger first. Here we go. Starting after the breath mark. One, two, three. <laughs> So back those four measures up and play along with the recording. Then we'll be ready to go all the way through. Here we go. Give you three. One, two, three. Keep backing that up and going through it as many times as you need. On these recordings, we will not do the repeats just for the sake of time on, on the recording. Now we're looking at number 77, La Bamba. Look at the key signature. It tells us we have Bs that are flat all the way through, and we have Es that are flat all the way through. But now look in the first measure. There's a natural sign next to the E. That's called an accidental. That cancels that flat for that note and any other E's in the rest of that measure. So let's look at that first measure. We want to say the note names. We have B flat, F, F, E flat, G, E natural, F. So let's say that while Amelia plays it. We'll take it kind of slow. Ready? One, two, ready, now. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. Ready? One, two, and ready now. Now a little quicker. One, two, first measure now. Okay, keep backing that up until you have it worked out. Now let's look at the middle measures. We have an internal repeat here that takes us from the third measure, fourth measure, fifth measure, sixth measure. Then the repeat takes us back to the third measure. We do it twice. While we're going over this, we're going to play the bottom notes the first time that we go through this. And when we repeat back, we'll play the top notes. So let's, let's do that together. Say the note names in finger and then play along. Here we go. One, two, middle, four. <laughs> Keep backing that up and going through it, saying the note names and playing along as many times as you need to. Now let's look at the last two measures. We have B flat, hold, G, hold, A, C, C, E flat because of the key, D, C, B flat because of the key. Here we go. Say and finger that, then, then we'll play it together. One, two, last two. <laughs> Do that again. Ready? One, two, last two. All right, so keep doing those three sections until you have it worked out to where you're not making mistakes on them. Then we're ready to put it together. This is a much more efficient way of practicing than just trying to play straight through the line, fumbling around and trying to get the notes right. Take each individual little section and work it out, then put it together, and your practice will be much more productive. Okay, let's go all the way through number 77. On the repeated section, we'll play the bottom notes first, then the top notes. Make sure we're in the right key signature. All B's are flat. All E's are flat. Here we go. I'll give you four. One, two, ready, now. Half whole rest gets four counts. Half rest. Half rest. Half rest. Half rest. 
So keep backing it up and going through it until you have it worked out to where you're not making mistakes all the way through. Okay, this is number 78, Skill Builder. This is normally a test line. So we're going to take this in four measure sections. First thing we have to look at is our key signature. And it tells us that every B is flat and every E is flat. Looking through, I see an accidental in the fourth measure, but that's only good for that one measure. So let's say and finger the first four measures while Amelia plays. Ready? One, two, say finger down. Okay, I back that up and play along with that recording once you have the notes worked out. Now let's look at the last four measures. Say and finger while she plays, then we'll play it together. Ready? Now. Okay, keep backing the, that four measures up, saying the note names, and playing along until you have it worked out. Now we're ready to go straight through. Try to make a difference with your crescendos and dynamics and decrescendos as we play. Here we go, all the way through 78. One, two, 78. <laughs> So keep backing that up and going through it until you're ready to play that for a test. Okay, now we're looking at number 79, Horn Private Lesson. We're going to play this in four measure sections, and then I want you to play along with Amelia on your mouthpiece as well as on the instrument, matching the pitch as best you can on the mouthpiece against what she's playing. So let's look at the first four measures. There is no key signature. So everything is natural. All of our B's are natural second valve. All of our E's are natural open. So let's do the first four measures. You play on the mouthpiece while she plays on the instrument. Here we go. One and ready and. <laughs> Okay, keep going back over that, playing it on your French horn, and playing it on the mouthpiece. Now let's look at the last four measures. Ready? Do that on the mouthpiece first. Ready, and go, and. Okay, keep going over that, back and forth, doing between mouthpiece and French horn. Now let's go all the way through. First try it on the mouthpiece, then, then back up and do it again and, and do it on your instrument. Here we go. Ready and play and. All right, keep backing that up and going over it. Again, alternating back and forth between playing it on your mouthpiece and playing it on the instrument. 